What's up everybody? For this video series, we're going to cover a few different things, but I wanted to do a series of videos based on the fact that everybody always asks me, either in game or I get messages every single day, comments every single day, Nash, what's your UI? How do I get a, you know, what add-ons are you using? What can I do to get a UI like that? How do you set up this add-on? How do you set up that add-on? So what I wanted to do was cover some basic steps when setting up your World of Warcraft user interface because let's be honest, this is one of the most important steps um, in becoming a better player, right? If you have a good UI, a lot of times you know, a lot of people will like it, as well as the screenshot of your UI when you're doing a guild application as well, can really tell the guild that you're applying for uh, how much effort and time you put in the game, and can almost even dictate some of your skill level. Um, the, the four main aspects, though, that you want to concentrate whenever you're building a UI are very simple. You want it to be clean, you want it to be personalized, you want it to be effective, and you also want it to be repeatable. Now, what do I mean by those? So, in order to be clean, obviously, we don't need extra things that we're not paying attention to that are just there to clutter the screen, okay? That's what I mean by clean. We want effective. In other words, are we tracking the right things? How are we tracking those things? How are we determining how we're doing, whether we're a tank, a healer, or a DPS, via our user interface, and then repeatable. Um, what do I mean by repeatable? I mean, I can put this UI and generally cover it across all my different tunes with just changing a few little things, and that's where the personalized part gets into it with using personal class things. Like if I'm playing my Fire Mage, for instance, my big Ignite, or if I'm playing as Arcane, my player mana percent, or you know what buffs I'm tracking depending on what spec you are. That's what I mean by personalized. So whether you're a Warlock or a Mage or whatever. But those are the four key things, guys, when you're going through your user interface. So what I'm gonna do is in this series, I'm gonna cover the four main add-ons that I use. And I'm gonna do them in separate series. So for this video, I'm going to cover Tell Me When. And what I'm gonna be doing is showing you the ins and outs of each of these add-ons, giving you a brief tutorial on what we're looking for when we're setting these up, what screens we're looking at, and kind of a general guideline to just get through them. Remember, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to set every single thing up. It's your job to figure that part out, but I'm gonna walk you through the general ideas of each, of each step of the add-on so that you guys have a better understanding of how the add-ons work and how to set them up yourself so that you can set them up on your main and all of your alts. That way you never have any problems. You can repeat this uh, UI and you'll get used to it. And the nice thing about getting used to a good UI is when you're doing progression, when you're bringing in your alt, you know where you're looking for things, everything's where it's supposed to be, and you have everything organized. And that's really going to up your performance in-game. And that's really the end result of why we want a good UI, is to improve our performance. Right, guys. So the first add-on is Tell Me When. And Tell Me When is what most people use if they don't use weak auras. And what this does is this allows you to go through and change many different things but you're mainly what you're doing is you're keeping track of buffs okay um, and this is where you're pretty much going you can add as many groups as you want okay and enable and unable them you can have them work in only certain specs and that way you don't have to worry about turning certain things on and off so you can have like a group for let's say a fire mage you can have a group for a frost mage you can have a group for an arcane mage and then you just move your bars around uh... you can either do icons or bars so if you want like timers and countdown bars you can do that as well and like i said you can have as many groups as you want so what i'm going to do is kind of go through and again if you just want to add another group you just click this and you choose icons or bars and it'll add another group so what I'm going to do is show you my tell me whens and kind of the reason for each of them as what you're going to see is why I use certain ones, what I'm trying to keep track of while I'm doing things. So obviously if we look down here, um, what we have is these are my trinkets, my meta gem, and my arcane power since I'm in arcane spec currently. Okay, so what we're doing here is these are the four biggest things that I'm tracking are my trinket procs, my meta gem proc, my arcane power for my cooldown. So these are the main, the reason I'm tracking these again 
is because what I want to do is I want to know when these are up. I want them to be relevant. I want them to be right in front of my face. Unlike the normal UI or many UIs where the buffs are sitting up here by your mini map, where you, it's it's not efficient to look there. I want everything big and I want it right underneath me. So that's why I have all these. And again, these are some of my smaller buffs like time warp, my potion, uh, my weapon enchant, my profession proc, my two piece and of course my racial and then down here I have Stormlash and Crypt Banner for when those are popped just so I'm aware so it it lets me know now it's not a huge deal I just like to monitor these that's why they're down a little bit further on the list okay and I'm gonna show you how you find out what your buttons are that you want to buff and I will go through all that with you right now so the easiest way to do this and again we're just talking about this row right here guys is let me turn off my tell me when Okay, so what we're looking for in order to test how to get your trinket buffs and all this stuff to work, okay, is up here where your buffs are, it will give you a spell ID. You want to get a pen and piece of paper and you want to write these down, okay? So these are the three IDs that I'm looking for for all these different procs, and that way when I go in to tell me when, I can just simply go through and I can type in that spell ID as you see right here I put in buff I put in only check mine when present and I click show timer show timer text and show LVI timer since I do use LVI and that is all you need and you do that for every single trinket or proc that you want to find out when it's up especially with RPPM trinkets we're not tracking in internal cooldowns what we're tracking is when they're up so if you do them that way and again as you see here just a different number same exact setup real easy just check some boxes type in a number unit to watch as the player you're good to go and this will track everything that you want it to track and that's how you do every single one of these okay uh, the only one that you yep they're all actually the exact same and again if you don't know what the spell ID is um, you need to know the name of the buff so in this case Stormlash Totem it gives me that that way anyway anytime somebody lays down a Stormlash Totem it comes right up one but the easiest way to make sure that you're getting the exact one that you're looking for is go to a training dummy just hit it a couple times until the buff procs find out what the ID is and then you can type in that ID so the other thing that you want to do when you're using tell me when um, is you want to have different things so like on this bar okay what I have here is I have my dot so whenever this isn't on the target it puts a big icon next to my head and I don't want to see it so what that means I always want to keep this blank so I want to keep my dot on again same thing with my mirror images I have this right here so that way whenever that's off cooldown I can pop it since I don't really need to line this up with anything else um, it's just a minor DPS increase. I, as soon as this is up, I can pretty much just pop it. And then this is where I have my mana gems. Okay, right now I'm using the glyph of the mana gem, so I have 10 of them. So it'll actually show you, if I turn this off, that I have 10 of them left. And then again, once it's on cooldown, it will disappear, and it will always keep track of my stacks as well. So that's really what I'm keeping track of on this bar. So to show you how this works, again, I put my dot on, it's gone. I put that on, or I use my mirror images, it's gone. I get rid of a little bit of mana so I can use my gem, it's gone. Okay, so now all of that is disappeared. And you'll see, as my dot comes off, it appears again. Well, I don't want that there. I click my dot again, and it goes back off. So, again, and the, re the way that we do this is really simple. Uh, as soon as it lets me out of combat, I'll get my options back up for you. alright and the way that we put in these guys is again this is a debuff on the target now what you're wondering here is what are all these spell IDs well these are my three bombs so living bomb mage bomb frost bomb so that way whatever or living bomb um, nether tempest and frost bomb so this way anytime I have any of my bombs up this will do the exact same thing now I have it checked as a debuff on the target and then any present and, and, and all absent and the reason I click this is because in my conditions you'll see that I have Living Bomb, Nether Tempest, and Frost Bomb here and I have a condition to set debuff duration and you can choose many many different things and again you guys will have to go through for each of your own spells and put these in unit the target 
operator less than or equal to 1.5 seconds. So what I'm doing here is I want this to, when my dot's at one and a half seconds left, I want it to come back up on my screen. So that way, when I finish my cast, I'm in the middle of the cast, I know that my next GCD I can use on my bomb. I'm not going to be penalized for it, and I can get my bomb back up on my target as soon as possible. And that's the condition. Again, in the main, you can see it one more time. This is how I set up, and this will work for pretty much any debuff. Whether, whatever class you are, if you want to keep track of your Shadow Word Pain, of your Corruption, um, of any other dots that you might have, this is the where you would do it if you're a dot class or there's um, a debuff that you put on the target that you need to keep track of. That's how you do it. Again, the Mirror Images is a spell cooldown. So I type in, I go through my list, and these are all the options that you have, okay? You can go through any of these, but this is a spell cooldown because that's what Mirror Images is, is a spell, so I only want to track it the same way. See what I'm saying? So again, when it's at greater than or equal to zero, so pretty much when it's off cooldown is when I care about it. Again, as it's not a huge DPS increase for the mage, um, we just want to use it on cooldown, so I really don't care whenever it's up, I want to use it. Same thing with the mana gem, I just want to know when it's available, so that way when I'm using my my burn rotation, I know that I can work in my mana gem or I can't work in my mana gem. Okay, so the other thing that you'll see on my screen, guys, with Tell Me When is this group. Now what am I doing with this group? Well, this group tracks if I'm standing in my rune of power and how many arcane charges I have. So what I'll do is I'll show you this. If I move out, this goes away. I always want this up. If this isn't on my screen, we're having a bad time. Now some people will do it the other way where they turn it off. So if you don't have this, or if you have this button up, then that means it's bad. So you always want to have that button up. And again, that's, a, that's another option to do. Um, some people do it one way, some people do it the other. And then when I'm hitting my target, my other thing is right here. And this is my arcane charges. It keeps track. So I know when I'm at full stacks, and I know when to burn my stacks off. Okay? So that's what that's tracking. So now I know I'm at four stacks, okay? And you can't go higher than four, but it tracks all my stacks. And then that way when I clear them, it disappears, and it starts me over as I generate stacks, okay? And I'll bring it up just so you guys can see. Again, it's just a buff or a debuff. It's a player buff on myself. I want to know when it's present. And again, same thing, okay? That's really what we're looking for. And again, with the arcane charges, I put uh, either at this, um, but it's a player I just want to know buffer debuff arcane charge and then show timer show text and show my stacks okay and you'll as you'll see here you can prioritize it however you want but that's basically how you use tell me one guys it's a very simple add-on to use um, it's just a matter of getting used to it a lot of some people use weak or some people use tell me when's you can do this to use to pretty much track anything for any class but this way you guys have a general idea of how to set these up for whatever works best for you and whatever you and your class need to keep track of